Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. As some of you guys have been asking me if I know what's coming up, like when the new DLC will come up and stuff like that. Sadly, we don't have any information just yet about any of that. The only information we really have is about the Valentine's Seasonal or the Valentine's Day event. The event will start February 1st, 2018 and will last all the way up to February 28th, 2018. Uh, that information is very easy to verify. It is in the announcement section. Basically, there is a thread in the announcement section that maps update, update once in a while. And uh, not too long ago, he updated the date for the Valentine's Day seasonal event. And sadly, that is pretty much all the information we have right now. So even though we don't really know what's going to be added to the event, obviously what we had in the past events will probably be, be still be included in the, the new event. As you can see, there's a nice Harley Quinn t-shirt that we can have, a, a sort of Harley Quinn team t-shirt that we can have. And there's also a whole bunch of Star Sapphire based items uh, that we can get. If you do have a Star Sapphire character, you will be able to get a whole bunch of nice Star Sapphire items to add to your base. Uh, sadly, I don't have that many of those items. I didn't really farm those items all that much in the previous years. Uh, maybe this year I'll try to, to fill my Star Sapphire base a bit more. I guess we'll, we'll have to wait and see. So sadly right now, that is the only real information we have. Is that the next event will be the, uh, the Valentine seasonal event. Uh, sadly, the devs did not announce any other information about what's coming up for 2018 or about what's coming up for the next DLC. So right now, we literally have no information about what is coming up other than the Valentine seasonal event. Obviously, we can expect the St. Patrick seasonal event to come back and we can expect, expect the spring seasonal event to come back. But in the meantime, the only real information we have is about the Valentine seasonal event. Although there is another event that we can expect, uh, although we didn't, we didn't get any real confirmation about that, but just as we got the Anti-Monitor event once more in 2018, I strongly suspect we are going to get also the Star, Star Road, the Conqueror event again in 2018. So although we don't have any, any real information about upcoming DLCs, we can still look forward to the Star Road, the Conqueror event uh, we, there's no reason to think that Star Wars The Conqueror event will not make a comeback. The same as when we got the Anti-Monitor event uh, once more in 2018. There were a lot of people who were, for some reason, in denial about that. They were saying that there was no guarantee that we would get the Anti-Monitor event once more. Uh, some people were saying that the Anti-Monitor event was just a one-time deal. And now we know that that's not true. The Anti-Monitor event did make a comeback. So there's no reason not to think that the Star Road the Conqueror event will also come back. So that is one of the events that we can actually look forward to. But again, take that with a grain of salt. We have no real information about that just yet. So again, the only real information we have right now is concerning the Valentine seasonal event. Again, we know it's going to start February 1st, 2018, all the way up to February 28th. 2018. So we will have the event for roughly one month. So it will give you one month to gather marks and be able to purchase whatever uh, Valentine seasonal, either base items or styles that you're going to want for your characters. Uh, so as soon as we know more about the Valentine seasonal event, I will probably make a follow-up video to let you guys know what's coming up for the event. And also, I suspect that before long, probably this week, we should have some sort of announcement about what the devs plan for 2018. They've been silent so far, we don't really know why. I guess they're just not ready to unveil their plans just yet. So I suspect this week we should have some sort of announcement. Again, I guess we'll have to wait and see until that actually happens. And I guess the other thing that we already know that's coming up is the end of the PS3 for DC Universe Online. Just in case you guys don't know, PS3 will no longer be supported after January 31st, 2018. So you still have roughly a week and a half in order to, to keep on playing this universe online on PS3. And after January 31st, 2018, uh, this universe online will no longer be supported on PS3. So again, if you're playing on PS3, 
you still have a week and a half roughly to play DC Universe Online on your PS3 and sadly after that DC Universe Online will no longer be supported on PS3 and you will no longer be able to play DC Universe Online on PS3 after January 31st 2018. Uh, don't worry, you're not losing your characters, you're not losing your account, nothing is getting deleted. The only thing is that you're not going to be able to play with your characters on PS3 anymore, but as soon as you do upgrade to PS4, you will have access to your account with your, your PS4, and all your, your PS3 characters will be available to you on PS4. So basically, all your account, all your characters will be waiting for you, and once you are ready to upgrade to PS4, once you finally manage to upgrade to PS4, your PS3 characters will be available to you and you're going to be able to keep on playing your PS3 characters on your PS4. So that's going to be pretty much it for now guys. So basically the only real information again we have is that the Valentine seasonal start February 1st and that after January 31st 2018 you are no longer going to be able to play this universe online on the PS3. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answer your, answering your questions. So that's going to be it for now, guys. So as always, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.